Hey, what's going on, Fight Fans? This is Sean with Boxing Socialist. Uh, I know a lot of y'all been wondering where I've been at the last couple of weeks because uh, of inactivity. I was uh, on vacation for two weeks, and some of the spots I was at didn't really have strong uh, Wi-Fi access. Um, even for my phone, I was picking up 3G, sometimes 4G signals. I was out on a lake and all that stuff, but... That's neither here nor there. But what I want to talk to you about was some of the things I want to catch up on while I was away on vacation. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is this um, Conor McGregor, uh, Floyd Mayweather thing. First of all, I don't think nobody really believed that this fight was ever going to materialize. There could be talks all day until you're blue in the face, but that fight was never going to happen. Uh, but the interesting news I want to talk about was Conor McGregor's trainer um, had a quote to the paper why the fight didn't happen. Um, they did admit that they were approached by Mayweather Promotions to try to put on this fight. Um, he said the hold up was is that during negotiations, Floyd Mayweather said he was going to give Conor McGregor a flat out $7 million payday. And that's all they were getting. No pay-per-views, no anything. Just straight out $7 million. Floyd uses the same thing he says to every fighter. Uh, You've never made this much money before. Be happy with it. Floyd, just cut all that crap out. Come on now. You don't forgot where you came from. There's a point in time that you weren't making big money either. So all this, you know, you've never made this much money before. You know, you deserve this and that. Just cut all that crap. Just... We're tired of hearing the same. You're like a broken record, hearing the same thing over and over again. I'm the A side, you the B side. Forget all that. Just come up with the negotiations. You don't have to do all the extra talk and that extra smack talk. If you're going to make it happen, make it happen. If it don't, it don't. Now, on the flip side, Conor McGregor lost his mind. <laughs> Conor McGregor's people said, hey, my name's just as big as yours. No, it's not. I draw as many fans as you. No, you don't. And on top of that, this guy had audacity. After he got knocked out, or should I say chokehold, submitted to Nate Diaz, and lost his fight, um, this guy had a nerve to say, if we're going to fight, it needs to be 50-50, right down the middle. You've lost your mind, Conor McGregor. That Something like that would never happen. And if it was up to me to do negotiations, at the most... I would give you 80-20. So say out of a say y'all generated 200 million, Floyd's gonna get 160, you're gonna get 40 million. Bottom line, he's gonna get three times more the amount than you. So, you know, they're a little off on both their end. Uh, kind of it doesn't matter whether I'm discussing with both of them or not. The bottom line, the fight was never gonna happen. I'm sorry that y'all fans were hoodwinked. Sorry that they kept y'all in the height. You know, sometimes you got to do things to stay relevant. Floyd needs to stay relevant because he's retired and he misses the spotlight. Conor McGregor is trying to stay relevant because he took his first loss. And there's a lot of lackluster has come off his name because of that. Anyway, y'all leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think.